All righty then. Uh, Gabriel Bertita won't be with the Pistons for a while. Let's buy out as a facilitated in the near future. He signs uh, with a uh, German club, Alba Berlin. I think it's for three years. Let's talk about it real quick. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button is the bell icon kind of button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notification, go live and drop the video. It was revealed right before that summer league game that he would not play in the summer league for the Pistons. It was revealed before that that there was rumors that he was going to be a player that they would stash. So, you know, now you're getting, uh, you know, now you're getting concrete, you know, results that he's going to be stashed. That he's going to be stashed. So, I mean, it is what it is. He's going to be a stash player over there. I think it was three years to read it. And, um, I mean, and he looked promising. And also, what, what hurts a lot of these dudes as well, too, is that, uh, is that you know, we took him over Jaden Hardy. And Jaden Hardy had a good summer league game, which could mean a lot of nothing or mostly a lot of nothing. But uh, it says that uh, Italian swingman Gabriel Brachita has officially signed a three-year contract with Alba Berlin. Hopefully I'm saying that right. The German team announced in press release. Brachita, who turned 20 last month, was the 36th overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft. He was selected by Portland on behalf of the Pistons, who acquired him from the Blazers part of the Jeremy Grant trade. That deal became official this week. Brachita spent 21-22 with the four to do Bologna in Italy averaged seven points a game and three rebounds in 18 and a half minutes. Uh, he shot 52% from the field, 38% from three, almost 80, 78% from the free throw line. All right. So he ranked outside the top 50 uh, on ESPN's big board leading, uh, leading up to the draft, but he made a strong impression on teams at the combine and draft free pre-draft workouts. Reports on the night of the draft indicate the Pistons plan to make Brachita a draft and stash prospect and have him continue developing overseas. So today, with the new uh, today's news that he signed with a new team in Europe doesn't come to it as a surprise. The only question will be how long Brachita remains overseas. It's unclear if there are any NBA outs in this new deal with Alba Berlin. So, I mean, you may never see this guy, to be honest. You know, they, they wanted to keep the cap lower, you know, um, so you may never see this guy. He may get his rights may get traded. This he 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 may stay over there. He may never want to come over, you know, because what better way to develop him? I mean, I guess maybe they didn't want to be- develop him in the in the G League. Guess they didn't want him to take up a roster spot. Who knows? So you you may never see this dude, but he got a lot of bounce. He you know he got you know they say he might be the best shooter in the draft. But physically, he probably not ready. So maybe he's going to an upper echelon league or a better league than is. But I wouldn't hold my breath on seeing him. And he's going to be measured to Jaden Hardy, regardless how many guards they got. They say, well, he could have came off the bench or you could have found a spot for him. So that's what he's going to be measured as. That's what he's going to be measured as. So, I mean, that is what it is. You know. So that's what it is. But, you know, you may never see him again. You may never see that again again, but we may see him. But if it ain't no Austin in this contract, which we don't really know, if it ain't no Austin in this contract, then he probably sticking over there. It's going to take a buyout for him to get out of there. And I think the buyout is going to be, you know, facilitated by the Detroit Pistons. But, you know, a lot of people want to see him now. But, a lot of people always gonna remember Jaden Hardy and passing up on Jaden Hardy for Pachita for Cheetah, but I think this was more about a cap, you know, you know, not taking paying somebody else under their cap with that uh with, they, with some of their cap space. And I think that's what it's about. But um uh, maybe he wasn't ready for the G League, maybe he simply ain't ready, but um but yeah, look, man, I, I mean it is what it is, man. But I looked at him, he seemed like he was pretty, he's a pretty solid uh Player, you know, handles got to tighten up. Probably got to get in the weight room a little bit. Um, but it's, you know, but hey, who knows? Didn't play in the summer. You didn't play when they said he was just coming to the summer league. Talk to case, and he wasn't go play in the summer league. That should let you know everything you need to know about him. I know, but but yep, he's gonna be a stash player, and um, 
you know, I don't know much about Alba Berlin, but let's see. Oh, it says Alba Berlin is a German professional club that's based in Germany. The club was founded in 1991. Um, and it's today, let me see where I left off at. And it's today the largest German national basketball club by membership figures. Alba Berlin hosts its home games at the Mercedes Benz Arena in Berlin. It competes in the German League, the Euro League, or the Euro, or the Euro Cup. After winning 10 German championships, 10 German Cups, three German Super Cups, the FIBA crack uh, cup in 1995 where Alba Berlin is considered to be the most successful German basketball team, both domestically and internationally with an average attendance of more than 10,000 fans per uh, game in the season. And also one of the most popular basketball clubs in Europe. In 2013, Alba was portrayed in ESPN's documentary series, basketball capitals. In 2013, the club was the first German basketball team to beat a reigning NBA champion in San Antonio Spurs. So there you go. I remember that game. Embarrassing. So yep, seemed like it's a top notch organization. So it seemed like he's stepping it up. Uh, you know, it seemed like he's that he's stepping up his league. So so his development gonna continue to step on his league. But like I said, it's still a chance that you may not see him um, in a uniform. So you know, don't hold your breath. But I think he will. You know, if it's you probably in, at the earliest, it might be in a couple of years, but Eventually, you know, they'll know if it's – I think it's the NBA out if they draft him, so we'll know. But uh, it's going to be how he, doing that, how he does in that league, honestly. So he's stepping it up. So it is what it is. You know, they probably gave him something, an itinerary to uh, to get better on, you know, if it's, uh, you know, strafe training, ball drills, I mean, whatever it may be. But most people say, why well, he just going to get better here? I think it was a cap move, bro, to be honest. It's a salary cap move. But – uh. Yeah, wish him nothing but the best, but he's gonna be measured, you know, hard against Jaden uh Jaden Hardy, bro. But like I said, we had so many guards and we had some people say you gotta make room for him, cut Saban Lee, you know, trade Corey Justice, do this, do that. But we don't have to wait on him. But I like what I seen in his tapes. A lot of lift, good shot release, good shot form. You know, so it's gonna take some time to see him. So I'll probably won't say you probably see him until like two or three years. But, uh, no, we'll see. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Uh, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Make subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications for each chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop the video. Check out the Detroit Pistons Talk playlist for more videos like this. Hit the link tree. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash Out, Venmo, PayPal, all in the link tree. You can reach out to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. If you have a business question, car response, if you have a question, want to chop it up. We just got to, you know. Regular question, Twitter's the fastest way. Uh, rate me on Spotify. I appreciate that. Follow me, whatever else they got going over here. And I open up the podcast with more viewerships and more follows and all that, you know, when I hit a certain number. But, hey, appreciate y'all. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to check out my main channel uh, right here on YouTube. That's Good Fucker TV. Right here on YouTube. Appreciate the love and support. One time for one time. Peace.